Hey Johnson, welcome, welcome. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to interview you. Um, I just wanted to do this documentary with you because you are an up and coming, not brand new to the rap industry, but you are an up and coming artist to the industry of the rap game. Just so people get to know who you are as an individual artist, could you um, just fill us in on a couple of questions that I have? Sounds good. Okay, starting with where, what date, where was Kate Johnson created? Well, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland on January 11th. All right, Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, not too many people are from Baltimore as an artist. Um, why do you rep Baltimore so hard? I feel like I just want to put my city on the map. I mean, we have the Braxtons. They're from Maryland. We have... Drew Hill, um, but not a real hip-hop artist, and I want to be that one. Okay, I noticed you were doing some name dropping. So in that case, who do you idolize? Who's your idol? Um, MC Light, uh, hands down. When I was 14, I um, turned on the box. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, and I saw her rapping, and I was like, wow, a female in hip-hop? And, you know, I just took off from there. All right. Okay. So with MC Light being a name that has inspired you, is she also the one that made you start rapping? Definitely. Um, I used to hear my brother and his friends rapping, and I felt like, oh, I can do it too. So I used to have her posters all on my wall, rapping all of her stuff. And when I was in high school, everybody called me Little Light everybody little light how about that all right little light better known as k johnson um can you let us know what is a couple of ways that you could be contacted i can be contacted through instagram k johnson online just the k and then johnson online also facebook um asine johnson e s e n e Johnson and you can check out my snap you can check out my YouTube videos the K Johnson 22 there's plenty of ways to get in contact me or you can definitely contact my manager <laughs> his name is Ricky Vaughn and his phone number is 404-452-4482 wonderful wonderful so now that they know how to get in contact with you, how about letting us know where have you performed? Oh, man. I performed everywhere. Um, I performed at Gay Pride in North Carolina. They flew me down. I performed in South Carolina in Gay Pride. Baltimore, plenty of shows in Baltimore, of course. Of course, big up, Baltimore. Um, shows here in Atlanta, the Apache Cafe, um, any open mic, the crow's nest, I go to all open mics. Um, once a month, we have the female showcase at the music room. That's dope. Nothing but female artists. So I just performed there last month. Um, and everywhere is an open mic. You're going to see me. Okay. So you're most definitely around. I'm grinding. Okay, and moving on with some other questions. I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time. Um, who, we already spoke about who your idol is. Um, who do you see yourself doing a song with? Um, MC Light. <laughs> I would love to do a track with Light, bring the, the old school back. I would love to do something with Eminem. Um, I love Eminem. He on my top five list. Uh, Trey songs. Um, Pink. I think she's a dope singer. Um, and some local, local rappers are the hottest because we're grinding the hardest. So anybody that's local, I just checked out this guy, Black or Six, is spelled with a, a six, like blackish or something. He's dope. I would love to collab with him. 
I know who you're speaking about. Free Black. Yeah, yeah, name. he do. And then he's using the number six as the letter B. Yeah. I got you. Okay, so now that we covered where you're from, why you started rap, who you're inspired by, where we could find you, how we could reach you, being that you are a female rapper in this industry, how do you feel about female rappers in the industry? I feel like it's awesome. Like, shout out to Young Ma. She doing her thing. Um, Saya, Nicki Minaj, uh, Little Kim, MC like Queen Latifah, Yo-Yo. The list go on. I really enjoy the Lady of Rage. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's like... It's always got to be one, one to a label or it's beef. Like we should be able to stick together as female hip hop artists because the way the industry is, all the men stick together, but we beefing. Oh, one woman to a record label. I think we should like, I love ladies night. Oh, shout out to the brat, the hottest freestyle rapper ever. All right, so it's the world full of ladies. We are a powerful force, and I think what ends up happening is that there's a lot of cat fights yeah. um, when there's more than one la lady on the label. Um, so ladies on a label, and that just brings us into the LGBT community, which you are a proud, um, proud to be a part of, to put it up. Uh, politically correct um you know the lgb community has come a long way in our lifetime and years that have passed and years to come there's still more room for growth um being part of the lgb community how do you feel about being not only part of it but also a lesbian rapper combined well at first i was like when I first was coming out, um, I was afraid of what people would think. They wouldn't want their kids to listen to me or, you know, it was a whole community that was kept quiet. So, you know, record labels, showing up records, um, job records, I performed for them, both of them. And... I remember the guy showing off records told me he was like, if you can dress a little bit feminine, sex sell. So then I wrote a song about it. I'm like, man, like, how come I can't be myself? How come I can't express who I am? I don't make just gay music. I make music, you know. And um, once again, shout out to Young Ma. She opened the door for people to see that you know, it can be a lesbian out here that makes dope music. Everybody was jumping on her track. The game. Um, I mean, Meek Mills, anybody, they were jumping on that track because she was hot. So it's like, I'm glad that door is open for us. So you can still remain who you are as an individual to make great music. Exactly. And I'm looking forward to performing at Gay Pride here in Atlanta for, you know, Labor Day weekend. That's the hugest event so you will see me on that stage <laughs> all right we look forward to that absolutely and being that you are here in atlanta what drove you to relocate from up north in baltimore maryland to atlanta well at the time i was working for trey song's mother i never met trey songs but um and just to see that he made it she gave him one year and he got signed in 11 months. And being as though that was so close to me, like I said, I never met him, but I felt like I went through the experience with him. I felt like, let me go chase my dream. I looked up different rec record labels like New York, L.A., Miami, and Atlanta was where it was at. It was popping here. It was more record labels here. More people was getting signed here. So August 5th, 2005, I took that U-Haul drive down to Atlanta. That was a brave move, very brave. And I see, you know, you mentioned 2005, and here we are, you know, some years later. So it's it's a dream or is it a goal? It's both. Um, 
I feel like a lot of people, well, I'm going to speak for myself. I feel like being a woman in this industry, having so many doors closed in your face, it's like I get motivated, then I give up. Because it's like I'm spending a lot of money on studio time, CDs, performing, and I still work a nine to five. So it's like, I'm at these shows, then I come home, get three hours of sleep, then I'm back to work. And sometimes it's like, why am I doing all this? But I still, I'm still chasing my dream and hoping that this year, 2017, I will be signed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, with you mentioning that you had a nine to five, which brings you to the reality of life. What else, are there any, is there a special someone out there? How do you feel about relationships and being in the industry? Well, I talked to a lot of people and they were just like, oh, you know, you should never tell that you're in a relationship because you sh- you always want people to want you and want to be with you. And I mean, I think that's false because it's like, if you're with somebody that was there when you were grinding to make it, why deny them? I'm not going to deny my wife. Um, we got married 11, 12, 13. It's been the biggest blessing that's ever happened to me. So I'm not going to sit here just because I want to be a rapper. and Well, I am a rapper. <laughs> but just because I'm chasing a dream and wanting to be signed, I'm not going to deny my wife when she's been riding with me and grinding with me. So, shout out to Ahi Yage. <laughs> That's sweet of you. Um, and just to wrap it up, you know, this is this is a, um, how can I say, this is a challenging world. There's a lot of people trying to make it. But are they making it in a field or in a world where hip-hop is dead? Um, Nas said it a couple years ago. He said that, he feel like hip hop is dead and he's kind of right. Um, it's like my wife said it before cause she's a hip hop head that rap is getting slowed down. Like it's so slow and it's, it's crazy because it used to be so diverse. We used to have Onyx, um, you know, DMX, Wu-Tang Clan, um, Rakim, MC Light, Queen Latifah, Yo-Yo. I mean, everybody was doing their own thing. And now it's like everybody want to get on the same wave instead of being different. Like your Kanye West, your Chance the Rappers, you know, your Common Sense. Well, he go by Common now. But, I mean, I just feel as though... Let's get back to making good music. You know, real, genuine, good music. And leave the drugs and shit out. You know, kids are listening. Y'all talking about drinking lean, popping pills. You know, it's like, come on, yo. Let's get back to partying and dancing and making true hip-hop. Well, Kay Johnson, I must admit it has been a pleasure speaking with you speaking with you today excuse me it's been a pleasure speaking with you today and i hope to hear and see from you soon okay and just uh another quick shout out if you're trying to book me you want to book me hit up my manager my manager (laughs) uh ricky vaughn his phone number again is 404-452-4482 also i got these k johnson t-shirts Cop one, just $10. I got the purple and the orange because I rep the home team no matter what. Baltimore Ravens and the orange is for the Oreos. So just get at me. I hope you enjoy my video. If you have any more questions you want to know about Kate Johnson, hit your girl up. Sheep.